everybody. My name is Anthony, and here is my friend Carlo. We're here to talk to you a little bit about our senior year on the second part of the final episode of Teen Talk Newer. Now, Carlo, tell me a little bit about how your years was, because if I know correctly, you have actually transferred in. So how was that? Um, transitioning from a small charter school to a big public school wasn't like culture shock for me. I adapted like pretty quickly than I thought I would but I just didn't like the transferring process because this is not somewhere where I would have wanted to be, but this was like the only choice for high school I could pick. So I ended up here and I didn't want to come to this school because like I heard a lot of stuff that wasn't like good. So I was just like scared of like, what was gonna happen to me? Like, what was it gonna be like for me? But it's not all the ex expectations I have for this school were, wrong and I was wrong and it actually ended up being like a good process for me I made like a lot of good friends here and in my old school I did have good friends but well I, I wouldn't say I had good friends I had friends but not good friends like to the point where I'll like bring them to my house and like they'll meet my mom like that's something I really have like that's big like you can't meet my mom unless I'm sure like we're gonna be friends like you know for a long time or whatever but Transitioning from a big, from a small school to a big school wasn't scary for me. I was just like, whatever. But I was just like more disappointed that I had to do it. But I had a good um, experience transferring to schools. Okay, so how about, how do you feel about your last year year? This is your senior year, right? Yeah. So my tell last, me how you feel about that. My last year here was, I just had the mindset to do whatever I had to do just to get out of here because I don't want to spend another year in high school like i'm just here to do what i have to do and just leave makes sense me on the other hand i think i had a split mindset <laughs> where i was focused on getting my work done but at the same time this is my last year mm -hmm. and considering that i'm going off to colleges and all that good stuff i also wanted to spend as much time as i could possibly with all the people that i have here because who knows the next time i'll see them so i was i'm busy trying to find balance between those two but it's, it's been a little difficult, not too much. I'm getting there. And how would you say, like, how were your teachers like with you? Oh, my teachers? For the main part, I, <laughs> for the main part, I love my teachers and my teachers hated me. Nah, <laughs> but I'm playing. Me and my teachers had a unique dynamic. We always had um, a more friendly air than I could say almost any other teacher that I've had in my middle school or elementary school, which is really saying something because I had some very nice teachers in my middle school and elementary school. But the teachers here are really something else. They actually look out for you as a person instead of just another student or just another statistic, which I can say is really great in terms of how the school should be. Just thinking about it in general, there's a lot of teachers that I miss because a lot of them have been gone, like Miss Zadie, Miss Paz, um, my French teacher, all of them, they were amazing teachers. And some of them had to leave and some of them couldn't stay. There's a lot of friends that have gone to, which is always a sad thing to see or notice when you come back. But all of it shapes us into people that we've become today. And honestly, I really don't think I would have made it to senior year without some of the teachers helping me through. So I gotta thank them for that. If you guys are watching, thank all of you. <laughs> and what's something you would say that like helped you change as a person while you were in high school? Oh, that's easy. It's the people that I took a high school with. A lot of people don't realize it, but high school is a unique experience. The people who you shape yourself around and who you put yourself in on an everyday basis for four years during the toughest times of your life, that's going to shape who you are. Maybe not in drastic ways, but in small bits and pieces, you'll find yourself changing into maybe a different, better person. And sometimes that can be a bad thing, but more often than not, that'll be a good thing for you. You'll have friends that'll show you that trusting somebody isn't always a good thing. You'll have people who show you that love really can't make the world go round. You'll see couples in a hallway and think they'll be the best thing in this world since sliced bread. And then two weeks later, you'll see them fall apart like the end of the earth. But to be honest, this is high school. It's all about growing up here. And I honestly think that this school in particular, ain't nothing going to, ain't nothing going to be taught better than that. Because in Behringer, Everything is real, and nobody's holding back. You got anything to say on that? Um, the friends part, the only thing I would say is, like, learn how to differentiate, like, what 
who's gonna like who's gonna be your friend inside of school and who's gonna be your friend outside of school like have a friend for everything but don't tell that friend everything so you'll have a friend for school or like you'll have a friend that helps you study you'll have a friend that you can like help um through like a situation that they're going through like don't make don't try to put all your friends in one box like oh this is gonna they, these are all my friends like because not everybody's your friend so that's one advice i can give that is true speaking of advice how about a little tip for the middle schoolers who'll be coming up so mind your business if you had a drama do not gossip um what else don't disrespect your teachers because like that's one thing i hate about kids when they come into high school, they think they could just, like, run everything. Like, they could, like, disrespect their teachers because the teachers are humans, too, and they also have feelings. So don't treat your teachers like they're just a whatever thing because they're here to teach you, and they have something that you need and something that they can give you that you need from them. That is true. As for me, middle schoolers, I really just got to say one thing to you. All of y'all who are scared about coming into, be a little bit scared. But at the same time, <laughs> Don't be scared to go out and have fun. Because honestly, this really is going to be the best years of your life. So go out, make friends, but be careful who you make friends with. Yeah. Have fun with your teachers, but remember to keep yourself in line. Yeah. And most importantly, if the food ain't all that good, make sure to bring a pack of lunch. Don't eat the food. Don't Just, eat yeah, the food. don't eat the food. Be honest, the food's best. Well, I think that's about all the time we got for this episode. So I'm going to just sign off with saying thank everybody who's been watching. Thank everybody who's liked, commented, and subscribed. And hopefully we'll see you all again next time. But for us, the senior class, this is, uh, this is it for us. So we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>